Good evening everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Leap Classes. I am Anshti. Children you know. As per semester 1 examination pattern, we have started our MCQ series for semester 1. ICSC computer application subject. We have already covered one topic that is user defined functions and now we are doing the revision of class 9 syllabus. Children don't worry, I am here. And we will be completing all the topics for semester 1 exam for this particular subject. And soon we will start the mix up questions for all the topics which are present in semester 1. Right, our 10 on 10 series as you know contains total 10 questions. And we are following the pattern which is prescribed in specimen question paper launched by the council. So let us start with part 5 of this series 10 on 10 and the topic is revision of class 9 slippers. The first question is choose the right answer. An arithmetical expression that uses all its components of same data type. Let me give you one example for this. If I have written int a comma b comma c and I have written c equals to a plus b. Now children here you see c is also int type, a is also int type, b is also int type, right? So the question means this only. The expression that contains all of its components of the same data type like here it is given. So this type of expression is termed as pure expression. Option 2 is the correct answer. Right? This is the example of pure expression. But if I write uh, say float a semicolon int b semicolon double c. Then if you write c equals to a plus b. In this, the variables are used of different data types. So, this is not the pure expression. This is impure expression. Right, children? So, I hope the meaning of pure expression is clear to you. In the exams, you can get the question like this. The example is given, the statements are given and you can be asked to write the type of expression it is. So, you will be just checking the data types which are used in that and accordingly you will write the answer. The next question is, if the condition of an if statement is false, which is true below, you always write if and then you write the condition, then you give the block and then you give else block, right? Now, if block is executed, if this statement is considered, it is found to be false, then which statement will be true? else block will be executed yes this block will be executed so your option 2 again here is correct if the statement condition is found to be false then else block is always executed if it is true the if block is executed we move on to question number 2 that is fill in the blanks with the correct option and if or else if statement except dash as input before branching. Here we write if condition is written here and then you write if block or you write else block. This is the branching. You know that if is bidirectional. If this condition is tested and Either it will be true, then one set of statements will be executed and if it is false, another set of statements will be executed. So, which type of value, what it takes as input before branching? Here, it evaluates the condition and that condition is resulted into true or false. And true or false are of data type boolean. So, boolean is the correct answer. Option 4 is the correct answer. Children, please do all these before I tell you the answer. You should be able to mark the correct option yourself and the, just tell your answers with mine. Okay. The next part is a dash error is concerned with an error in planning the program's logic. Right. Suppose I want to calculate the sum of the marks. And instead of writing A plus B, suppose these are two marks, I am writing A multiplied by B or A minus B. So, this is the planning mistake, not the syntax error. It will not give you any syntax error if you are writing all the operators, all the operands correctly. 
so this type of error is termed as logical error option 4 is the correct answer anything you plan wrong in the program's logic that is logical error suppose you want to find the percentage out of 500 total marks and you are dividing it by 300 so that again is a logical mistake what we are writing in the program we are not writing that logically correct the output will be given the output will be generated but it will not be correct as per the expectation right now we move on to the next question predict the output first part int a equals to 4 while a is greater than 0 4 is greater than 0 yes condition is true it will enter into the loop print a plus a space is given so it will print 4 and a space will be given a minus minus after printing 4 the value of a will be decreased by 1 and again then the condition will be checked now here the value of a is now 3 3 is greater than 0 yes still it is true so here print statement is written so after that space 3 will be displayed a minus minus the value of a will become 2 the value 2 is still greater than 0 condition is true a that is 2 will be printed a space will be printed the value of a will become 1 1 is greater than 0 yes condition is true so, 1 will be printed after that again a space is printed. A minus minus. Now, the value of A will become 0. 0 is greater than 0. No, here the condition will become false and it will not enter into the body of while loop. So, your output after execution of this loop will be 4, 3, 2, 1. So, option 1 here is the correct answer. Children, here I want to tell you that whenever you get any question which is output based or calculation based, then first do it yourself, solve it yourself and then match the answer with the options given. If it is available over there, that means your answer is perfectly correct. Okay. So, now we move on to the second part of this question, predict the output only. INT A equals to 1 for semicolon true semicolon a plus plus here initialization is not given which is already given here so here in for loop you know that the second expression is for the test condition here it is mentioned true right and uh, the update expression is a plus plus before seeing the options first we want to solve it ourselves and that i want from you also to do print a the condition is true so it will go into the loop it will print the value of a that is 1 1 will be printed comma comma is there if a greater than 3 what is the value of a a is 1 1 is greater than 3 no so break statement will not be executed again the program control will be shifted to the fall with the updated value it will update the value of a now a will become 2 so condition is still true here it is coming true so after this print statement 2 will be printed comma will be printed 2 is greater than 3 no again it will come here it will update the value of uh, a it will be 3 3 will be printed comma will be printed 3 is greater than 3 no still the condition is false so break statement will not be executed the program control will be shifted here a plus plus will increase the value of a by 1 so the value of a will become 4 and comma will be printed and if a is greater than 3 yes the value of a is now 4 and it is greater than 3 yes so break statement will be executed it will come out of the for block children whenever we get the break statement is executed it takes you out of the current block right so your option 1 2 3 4 separated by comma and after 4 also a comma is printed so option 3 is the correct answer few children may put a tick mark on option number 2 so children please my advice again to solve these type of questions yourself before you select the correct option right now true false logical error 
occur while compiling the program no logical error you don't get any error when you compile the program you can make out that error when you see the result when you get the output output is not the desired output when we get the logical error right when there is logical error like i gave you earlier in one of the question logical error suppose i want to calculate the sum of two numbers and instead of plus operator i am using multiplication operator there is no syntax error in that but logically it is wrong so this will not occur when you are compiling the program children please note when you are compiling the program only the syntax errors are there right so your option 2 that is false is the correct answer increment and decrement are unary operator unary operators are the operators which needs only one operand to work like you have plus plus a a minus minus you have plus a minus a so all these operators if you see are taking only one operand with it so these operators are termed as unary operators plus plus is known as increment operator and minus minus is known as decrement operator and always we know that whenever we are using these two operators we just write only one operand with that so it is true option 1 is the correct answer next choose the odd one byte int float long yes children which is the correct option float is the correct option option 3 why because byte int and long all these are integer type data types right and float is fractional type okay the next is assembler compiler interpreter and converter here option 4 is the correct answer because these three are translators which are used to convert one language into another computer language right so here we have completed our today's 10 questions and children definitely i'll try to make the videos as early as possible and i want all of you also to practice a lot to work for your examination to do the programming practice as well don't depend on uh, just putting a tick mark on the given option so my best wishes are with each one of you and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications for all the videos and no important topic is missed by you keep practicing keep working hard god bless you children